Living someone else's version of your life is never going to be how you win. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. This show is brought to you by the 7 Good Minutes podcast production team. For a limited time, we're offering professional podcasting services to authors, bloggers, life coaches, and other entrepreneurs who want to start a podcast but would rather not deal with the technical aspects. If you've been thinking about starting your own podcast, we'll help you do it. Just go to 7goodminutes.com slash production for complete details. Today, we have a very powerful audio clip from our friend Evan Carmichael about being the kind of person that spreads positivity. Enjoy. I'm really sad to see that people are disenchanted and nihilistic and depressed and anxious and aimless and and perverse and vengeful and, and all of those things. It's terrible. And then to see people question whether that's necessary and then to start to rise out of it. It's like, it's so fun. Like last night I was at, after my talk, it's overwhelming. I don't usually think about these things, but I was, I was after my talk last night. And so all these people line up and, you know, they have their 15, 15 seconds with me and they're kind of tentative. They're excited and attentive when they come up to talk to me. And then they have, you know, 15 seconds of time to tell me something. I'm really listening to them. And they're hesitant about whether or not to share the good news about their life, you know, and I think it's often because when people share good news about their life, people don't necessarily respond positively. You know, they don't get encouragement. And people need so little encouragement. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. And so right. they'll tell me something good, and I mm. think, oh, that's so good. You know, somebody mm. says, oh, I'm getting along way better with my father. I hadn't seen him for 10 years, and now we get along. It's like, mm. God, mm. great. Yeah. And then the, the power of that, you can't overstate the power of that for individuals to get their life together. The individual is mm. an unbelievably powerful force, and every single person who gets their act together a little bit has the capacity to spread that around them. Mm. It's, it's a chain reaction, and so it's a lovely thing to see. So this is a really heavy clip, and it's a message I really agree with. I think most people's environments suck. I think most people have friends, parents, relatives who don't ultimately support them in what they're trying to do. I think if you got some big news and you got a million dollar client, your business is blowing up, and you go and tell your friends about your success, how many of them would truly be happy for you? How many of them would really want to celebrate with you as opposed to them saying good things but then secretly just being jealous of your success. How many of us have friends like that who just encourage us to no end? For people who are younger and have their parents and you're still living at home, you're still trying to figure out your career path, how many of you are worried about your parents' judgment over what you want to do? You want to go off and do this amazing thing, but your parents want you to do something else and you're afraid to have that conversation. It's why it's so hard to break free. It's why it's so hard to break out because we are afraid to share our dreams and our good news with the people around us. And we're afraid of our dreams. We have these bold visions of what we want to do, but doing the day to day can be scary. And you have one moment of excitement, but then the rest of the week you fall back down and say, who am I to do this? And you don't have the support system around you to help build you up. And it's why so many entrepreneurs never actually take off. It's why so many entrepreneurs just are entrepreneurs. They are stuck in their job and they don't want to, they don't want to leave the security blanket. They you know, are stuck in their life and they don't want to go against what their parents want them to do or their spouse or their kids. And it means you never actually get to do the thing you want to do. It means you never actually get to live the life that you want to live because you're constantly living in fear of other people's judgments. How sad is it that you cannot share your good news with the people around you because you're worried about them judging you and being jealous? It's a big reason why I started doing this. I believe in people quite often more than they believe in themselves. And because I have that ability, I think I have the responsibility. And I try to spread that through everybody I touch, in every conversation I have, in every video that I make. And I've received so many comments from you guys saying that these videos, watching these videos on a daily basis, is your support network, is the encouragement, because you don't have people around you who can help. And so, for yourself, finding the thing 
Because living somebody else's version of your life is never going to be how you're going to win. You're only going to be a junior version of your parents or a junior version of somebody else. You will never win. You will never be happy. You will never be part of the 0.1% of the world. It's never going to happen. And so finding a thing for you that gives you the boldness and encouragement and confidence to keep going every single day, whether that's watching a video or having conversations or reading a book or listening to a podcast, whatever that thing is, man, it's so important. And then once you found it for yourself, giving it to others. It's so crazy how much one supporter can make a difference. It's so crazy how if somebody's trying to launch something and everybody is against them and everybody's just saying all the reasons why it's not going to work out, and a lot of times it's out of love and practicality, but they're telling you all the reasons why it's not going to work out, and one person comes along and says, I think you can do it. I'm really excited for you. That one person sometimes is all that person needs to have a little bit of self-belief and a little bit of self-confidence to believe in themselves and chase that project. So I strongly encourage you to be that person for other people. Whether that's friends in your life, if you see somebody making a bold step or coming up with a dream, encourage them, support them, try to help them instead of just showing why something's not going to work out. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.